jurors in the Karen Reed murder trial will return next week. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Day four of deliberations came to an end without a verdict reached, and the judge ordered them to return on Monday. 12 News reporter Hannah Cotter is live for us in Dedham with the latest. Hannah? Well, Mike Shannon, jurors were deadlocked before noon today, but the judge ordered them to keep going. Now you can see the Karen Reed supporters have gone home for the day as of the jurors, but they'll be back on Monday. Alan, Karen, how are you feeling today? Day four of jury deliberations in the murder trial of Karen Reed, and still no verdict. Earlier in the day, jurors told the judge they were deadlocked and could not reach a unanimous decision but the judge ordered them to continue on. So that the length of the trial, the length of the deliberations, I know the case had, we heard from 74 witnesses, there are 657 exhibits, very complex issues in this case. I'm not prepared to find that there have been due and thorough deliberations at this point, so I am going to send them back out. Reed is accused of killing her Boston police officer boyfriend John O'Keefe by hitting him with her car on a snowy January night in 2022. Reed's team claims she's innocent and is the victim of a police cover-up. Legal experts say a hung jury could result in a mistrial. We start over or not, depending upon the, what the prosecution decides. My guess is in a case like this, they would be prosecuted. And again, jurors will resume deliberations here on Monday. Reporting live from Dedham, Hannah Cotter, 12 News. Jurors in the Karen Reed murder trial have gone home for the weekend after earlier telling the judge they could not reach a unanimous decision. 12 News reporter Hannah Cotter tells us what happened after the judge got that note and where things go from here. Hannah? Mike and Shannon, what a difference a day can make. Yesterday, we didn't hear from the jury at all, but today we heard they were deadlocked. The judge ordered them to keep going and still no verdict. Day four of deliberations in the Karen Reed murder trial. Just before noon, the jury told the judge they were deadlocked, but she insisted they keep going. We all know how hard you've been working. Lunch will be arriving shortly. When it comes, I'd ask you to clear your heads, have lunch, and begin your deliberations again. So they deliberated some more. Right, what's going through your head right now? But as of 4.15 Friday afternoon, they still hadn't reached a verdict. As a general matter, the longer deliberations go on, the better things tend to be for the defendant. Um, we now know uh, that the delay had something to do with um, this inability to uh, to agree uh, among the jurors. So Michael Yulnoski, who's a law professor at Roger Williams University, has no affiliation with this case. But he says generally, if a jury can't come to a unanimous agreement, that could lead to a mistrial, and the state would have to decide whether to reprosecute the case. It's very hard to predict um, what happens from here. It's really hard to predict why they're where they are. Um, it's just, um, this is part of, this, this is a part of the system, is not knowing uh, what's happening until uh, we get some final resolution. Jurors will resume deliberations here Monday morning. Reporting from Norfolk County Superior Court, I'm Hannah Cotter, 12 News.